Welcome to Birmingham General Cemetery, a Grade 2 star listed cemetery located in Birmingham's historic jewellery quarter. Known now as Key Hill, it was opened in 1836 by a group of non-conformist businessmen, that is those who are not members of the Anglican faith. It was Birmingham's first non-denominational cemetery, the object being to provide a burial ground which would be open to those of all religions and faiths or none. Key Hill holds a range of intriguing catacombs and a wealth of funerary monuments, on which are recorded many of Birmingham's famous and influential residents. With stories as diverse as that of Shakespearean actors, Victorian poets, industrialists, politicians, radical preachers, the first female journalist and the inventor of egg-free custard. Many of these residents were essential in the establishment of George Dawson's civic gospel, the ethos of which was an ambitiously inclusive culture where everything should be for everybody. This movement helped the people of Birmingham create a reputation as a trailblazing modern city. In partnership with the Everything to Everybody project, we would like to tell you more about these Victorian do-gooders. Charles Vince was born in 1823 in Farnham, Surrey. In his childhood he attended a local school and became an apprentice to Mason and Jackson, the firm for which his father worked as a carpenter and builder. After a Baptist conversion, Vince entered Stepney College in 1848, which was run by particular Baptists in London's East End. On being inducted as a minister in 1852, he was assigned to Mount Zion Chapel in Graham Street, Birmingham. Vince first came to public notice as a supporter of Birmingham Civic Gospel in 1866 when he delivered a speech at the Mayor's Luncheon. During this speech, Vince expressed a desire in line with the aspirations of individuals such as George Dawson or Robert Dale for a new standard of business-like and idealistic municipal leaders. Vince was a strong advocate of public education and he was a member of a number of bodies that supported this. He sat on the Free Libraries Committee, was a founding member of the Birmingham Education Society in 1867 and a founding executive committee member of the National Education League in 1869. He was a particular staunch supporter of secular education. According to the Birmingham Daily Post, Vince was well known as an elegant, persuasive and most earnest preacher. Robert Dell's son wrote that Vince was a man of genial humour who always fought smiling. Such description indicate why Vince was so well respected throughout the country and why he was not only an accomplished religious preacher but a political speaker too. Although his vocation denied him a seat on the town council, he spoke publicly in support of Liberal Party members including George Dawson and Joseph Chamberlain. Even by the standards of the time, Vince's death in his early fifties in 1874 was premature and shocked his Liberal associates. His character and work were praised by a plethora of public figures and in a range of publications. His funeral was attended by thousands of mourners who lined the streets and, as one, removed their hats out of respect. His funeral address had to be led by two ministers consecutively at two separate chapels to cope with the numbers, with his main address given by Mr Robert William Dale, the pastor of Carl's Lane Chapel. Vince is buried here, in Section K of Key Hill, alongside members of his family. I hope you have enjoyed this brief insight into the people buried here in Key Hill Cemetery. If you'd like to learn more about the people buried within Key Hill or Warstone Lane cemeteries, or if you want to find out more about the Everything to Everybody project, you can go to links in this video's description. If you'd like to help us to continue with our work, you can donate to the Jewellery Quarter Research Trust's GoFundMe page. The link is in the description, and all the proceeds will go towards the production of more virtual tours.